Teleimmersion is the integration of audio and video conferencing with collaborative virtual reality in the context of data mining and significant computation. The ultimate goal of teleimmersion is not merely to reproduce a face-to-face -face meeting in every detail, but to significantly enhance the meeting in ways that are not possible in a real meeting. In 1999, there are over 80 CAVE and Immersidesk installations around the world. The CAVE Research Network, or CAVERN, represents a growing community of industrial and research institutions equipped with these advanced visualization devices. High-performance computing resources interconnected by high-speed networks are utilized with the purpose of supporting teleimmersive applications for engineering, design, education and training, scientific visualization, and computational steering. As these institutions are mainly users of teleimmersion and not researchers, the Electronic Visualization Laboratory at the University of Illinois at Chicago has taken on the challenge of providing the software tools and in some cases the enabling network infrastructure to support teleimmersive collaboration. As part of this initiative, EVL is developing CavernSoft, a software system to facilitate the rapid development of teleimmersive applications. In addition, EVL is responsible for the creation of StarTap, the Science, Technology, and Research Transit Access Point. StarTap connects international sites such as Japan, Russia, Singapore, and Australia to facilitate scientific collaboration on computationally demanding and data-intensive topics. The following are five of the 14 international teleimmersion applications that have been developed in 1998 using CavernSoft over StarTap. The Institute for High Performance Computing and Motorola in Singapore have developed a tool that allows participants in Singapore and Chicago to interactively visualize the drop testing of Motorola products, in this case a pager. Here one participant may walk around the device and observe the collision of the object with the ground, while the other participant may control the animation or slice through the pager with a virtual cutting plane to reveal the internal circuit board that appears to dislodge on impact. General Motors has developed Visualize, an application that allows designers to import 3D CAD models into the cave for quick visual inspections and design reviews. This initial use of cave-based technology has generated considerable interest in other GM sites around the world, some of whom are planning their own cave installations. This has prompted General Motors to further extend Visualize to allow GM's transglobally situated design and manufacturing teams to collaborate in remote design reviews. The goal is to allow designers to both synchronously and asynchronously access a design that persists and evolves over time. The Virtual Temporal Bone is a teleimmersive program for distance learning developed by the Virtual Reality Medicine Lab at the University of Illinois at Chicago. This program allows a remotely located physician to teach medical students about the three-dimensional structure and function of the inner ear. In this environment, the students and instructor may point at and rotate the magnified ear to view it from various perspectives. They may also strip away the surrounding outer ear and temporal bone to more clearly view the inner anatomy. Cave 6D, developed by Old Dominion University and EVL, is a collaborative tool for viewing multi-dimensional numerical data from atmospheric, oceanographic, and other similar models. Using this tool, distantly located oceanographers can collectively study globally impacting phenomena, such as the depletion of the ozone layer. And finally, the Silk Road Shrine is a joint project between art historians at Northwestern University and the researchers at EVL. The goal is to create a virtual cultural and artistic exhibit of the Magoa Grottoes at Dunhuang in China. Virtual reality is used to recreate a few of the 492 caves that were built over a period of a thousand years beginning in the fourth century. Teleimmersion is used to allow international audiences to tour the caves led by expert tour guides to learn about the cave's history as chronicled by its many murals. At Supercomputing 1998 in Orlando, attendees were able to experience many of these collaboratories through immersive desks on the exhibit floor. 
once tele-immersed, hosts from Chicago, Japan, Singapore, and Australia took them on a hands-on tour of their virtual research exhibits. These applications, although highly successful, currently represent only the earliest applications of tele-immersion. There are many research problems still to be solved, new technologies to be invented, and new applications to be explored. The ultimate goal is to make tele-immersion a routine part of the way global communication, science, design, education, and engineering are done in the future.